Hello and welcome to the newest edition of SketchUp Quick Tips. Today we're going to look at a great plugin called Material Replacer, which is a great tool to use to get around one of the inherent problems in SketchUp's um, own paint bucket tool. And that is if you want to paint a face that's buried deep within a group or a component, you need to double click and double click and double click to get down to the face layer <coughs> before you can actually paint it with this new material. And then to get to another face, you need to paint. You need to double click some more to get to the next face. You need to double click some more. Zamity County, how many clicks this takes? Get to that face. You need to double click some more to get to that face. Double click some more. So I don't really have time to do all this, even one cabinet. And if you look at the number of faces that we see here, you can see it's going to take forever to change from all of them to white to this brown material without the use of an additional plugin. Okay, I just double clicked and double clicked on everything in this model to get all the white canvas to change to um, the wood and uh, it took me close to five minutes. It was kind of boring video so I chopped it out. And here we are back to the original white cabinets to find an easier way to do it. So if you have been following my library of YouTube videos for a while, you know that I used to have a video about how to go out and search and find plugins and then figure out how to install them on your computer. And luckily the lovely folks at SketchUp and the newest 2013 and 14 versions decided to add all these extensions into the actual program which is lovely for people that aren't really computer geeks like me. So what this means is they found all the plugins out there, or a lot of them, and collected them together in one nice repository. And that is right up here. If you hover over it, it says Extension Warehouse. So if you don't really know what a plugin is, it's kind of like an um, iPhone app. Sorry to borrow the analogy, but um, SketchUp was wise enough to use RubyScript or to develop RubyScript for their SketchUp's um, programming, which means uh, RubyScript is available to other developers who can then write their own scripts, which add additional uh, functions and efficiencies to SketchUp that isn't in the main program itself. So um, it can kind of, kind of be fun to browse through this. I'm going to go ahead and click on the extension warehouse. Um, here, I've already signed in. If you um, have used Extension Warehouse or the other warehouse at all, you will already be signed in. If not, go ahead and do that. And uh, let's go ahead and type in Material Replacer. Go ahead and hit Enter. And it doesn't show up right on the top, but if you scroll down, and be patient for a minute, going to see it's right here. It's Material Replacer by a very prolific developer named TomTom. Tom. So if I click on this, it's going to give me an install button, which I'm going to select. And um, yes, I don't grant access lightly, but I'm going to go ahead and install it. And it says it's now available for your use. And then it's also going to give you um, this little box. It's just some additional files that are needed, so you do need to go ahead and hit download there. And click install. Say yes again. And we'll say OK. Great. Okay, so now here's the part that can be confusing if you haven't used Extension Warehouse before. So you're like, okay, so how do I access the thing I just downloaded? So the important thing to remember is that you need to close and reopen SketchUp for it to show up. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I closed and reopened SketchUp. And um, now I'm going to hunt around a little bit. I just happen to know that if and if I look under tools, that's where material replacer is now found. And look, at it wasn't there before. Now it is. Um, a few of them might be found in different locations on the toolbar, but tools is a pretty safe bet where to look for the first time. Um, and if you can also look in Extension Warehouse, it might tell you there when you're downloading 
or adding an extension where you might find it. So I'm just going to click on Material Replacer and I get this little eyedropper that says Replace Default. If I go over something it's going to tell me Replace Maple Canvas Vert which is the name of this cabinet that we downloaded from CraftMade. I'm going to click on that and then it's going to say Replace With Babingo which is the name of this wood sample and look what happens when I click on that. <laughs> Everything changes all at once. Oh, within like 20 seconds. So, and you can um, show your client lots of materials over and over again. So, um, that is almost a miracle. Wow. So, do you see how quick that was? My old, um, my old video about using Material Replacer and finding plugins um, took like 15 minutes. And this one, it's so quick to find and use this plugin, and it will incredibly speed up your workflow. Uh, it's one of the best tools um, that I have. So, once again, Diane Dietrich from C3D, and thanks for joining me on this latest SketchUp Quick Tip. Look for some more.